So you wanna learn how to best buddy your Pokemon fast in Pokemon Go. Not gonna waste your time, let's get right into it. So before we talk about the fastest ways to best buddy your Pokemon, first, let's talk about what best buddying is for some of you who might not know. There are four levels of buddy in Pokemon Go. Good buddy, as you can see here, great buddy, ultra buddy, and best buddy. You can search what Pokemon you have at these buddy levels in your stores by searching buddy five for best buddy, buddy four for ultra, great, best, and then buddy one for you've made it your buddy once. You only really care about buddy five. If you're wondering why you're watching this video and what's the point of this, let's go through the perks. Starting at good buddy, you will get adventuring buddy, so it'll adventure with you on the map, and also you'll be able to read the buddy's mood. At great buddy, you'll get everything from the past buddy levels, but also you'll get the catch assist bounce back. If you've ever seen where you miss a Pokeball, your buddy can bounce back that Pokeball for you, and it can also find presents and gifts that will bring you items. At the ultra buddy, your buddy will be able to find new locations that you can go ahead and spin and get extra hearts on your buddy, and also it can bring you souvenirs, which are exclusive souvenirs that you can collect with each buddy. It doesn't really do anything, but if you like collecting exclusive stuff. But the main one is gonna be the best buddies you wanna look at, where you will get not only the best buddy ribbon on your Pokemon, but also a CP boost, which inequates to your Pokemon being one level higher. So yes, if you best buddy a level 50 Rayquaza, you can get a level 51 Rayquaza if it's best buddy. So it's actually worth best buddying because it actually makes your Pokemon stronger. Now, if you're wondering how you get to best buddy, you're gonna need hearts with your buddy. And specifically, you need one heart to get a good buddy, 70 hearts on your buddy to get a great buddy, 150 total hearts to get the ultra buddy, and 300 hearts to get a best buddy in Pokemon Go. And that brings us to this question, how do you get hearts? So as you can see here on my clone Charizard buddy, there's a bunch of different hearts that are unfilled. And these are what we're trying to fill. First of all, you can walk together. Every two kilometers, you'll get one heart. You can give your a buddy a treat, which if you click play, you can give it a berry and you can get hearts that way. You can get up to three that way. Playing together by just scratching on it will get you a heart. Battling together, whether that be in a raid, against a team leader, against a team go rocket, in PVP can get you a heart. Taking a snapshot of your buddy, visiting a new Pokestop, so a Pokestop with the halo can get you a heart. And following a route together, which is a new way to get hearts, can get you a heart. Also, if your buddy brings you a souvenir or a gift that we talked about earlier, that will also get you one bonus heart. But as you can see here, you can only get a total of 13 hearts a day. So you might be thinking to yourself, this is gonna take forever. But there's actually a way to double each heart you can get. So you can get a total of 26 hearts with your buddy every single day through excitement. So for example here, I'm gonna go ahead and click on my Charizard. And then in here, I can do all the actions I talk about. I can take a snapshot of my buddy. I can play with my buddy by kind of just like scratching him like that. And then also I can come into berries and give him a treat. If I were to give him a regular treat, like a golden raspberry, this will take his meter all the way full. As you can see there, I got a heart for it. But if you wanna get your buddy excited, what you can do is you can use an item over here called a Poffin. Poffins are gonna cost $100 each, cheaper if you buy them in a bundle, and you can also get them from AR mapping tasks by scanning gym, so you can get them for free. But what you'll see here is when I give my buddy a Poffin, yum yum Charizard, you see double hearts are gonna come out. And now if I back out and come look at my Charizard, as you can see, every single thing here has now doubled and I have the potential to get double hearts. Now Poffins last for eight hours. And from here, I can go ahead and do all the actions with my buddy to get all the hearts, getting me up to 26 hearts a day. But if you don't wanna spend money on Poffins, there's actually a way to get to this state for completely free. Now, unlike hearts, there's actually a hidden emotion level that your buddy has. And through playing with this emotion level, you can get your buddy excited for completely free. Specifically, you need 33 emotion points to get your buddy excited. And you will get emotion points by doing the same things we talked about there, feeding your buddy, playing with your buddy, all that stuff. But all of this stuff got updated recently. As you can see here, based on the Poke Miners, there is now different point values for doing all these things in terms of emotion points. Going to a new Poke Stop can now get you four points. Feeding your buddy now gets you two points. Battling in a gym with your buddy now gets you two emotion points. Opening a gift from your buddy gets you four points. Petting your buddy gets you two. Snapshots get you two. So this whole thing here has been changed, making it a lot easier to get your buddy excited for free. So what we can do is get our buddy excited for completely free in an hour and a half, saving you the use of using a Poffin through doing this method. Shout out to Reddit user Carl here, who has laid out the best way to get your buddy excited for free. As you can see here, all you're gonna do is go into your buddy. So for example, we're starting at 12 here. Then you're gonna go ahead and feed Feed your buddy until it's full. You're gonna play with your buddy. You're gonna take a snapshot with your buddy. You're gonna battle one of those team leaders at the bottom of the battle section with your buddy. You will need to complete this one. You can battle a team go rocket balloon with your buddy. And then from there, wait 30 minutes. Set a 30 minute timer on your phone. Now from there in 25 minutes, you will lose one emotion point because there is a decay of minus one every single 25 minutes. But that is fine because at 1230, you're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna feed your buddy, play with your buddy, snapshot your buddy, battle a team leader with your buddy, and then you're gonna set another 30 minute timer. You'll lose one more emotion point, but 
but then the next hour, you're gonna feed your buddy, play, snapshot, battle leader, set another 30 minute timer, and then for the last time, feed, play, snapshot, battle leader, and that will get you to the 30 two or 33 emotion points and your buddy will be excited for completely free. From there, you can go ahead and do all those things again, get all the hearts you want on your buddy for completely free in only an hour and a half to two hours. And all of this is very important to know because this goes into our fastest buddy methods and how to best buddy Pokemon fast. Now specifically, I'm gonna run through four methods depending on how hardcore versus how chill you wanna go with that will properly follow your play style. But let's get right into it with number one, method number one, I call it the single buddy method. Now this buddy method is very, very simple. What you're gonna do is you're gonna have one buddy, your best buddy, because that's all you really care about. For example, here, my Charizard. Every single day, I'm gonna come in here, whether I want to use a Poffin on him or I wanna get him excited for completely free, that's all I'm gonna do. For example, this Charizard is already excited. I already gave it a Poffin. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna come in. I'm gonna take my snapshot, make sure I play with him. There you go. Then from here, I need to battle with him. I'm gonna come into battle, scroll to the bottom here into spark, go master league. I actually set myself a buddy tag here by I'm tagging these things with asterisk so I can quickly know what Pokemon I'm budding. Now I have the Charizard in here. I'm gonna battle Spark here, but you don't actually have to battle him to get the heart. So what I can do is I can just back out right away and that will get one of the two hearts for my buddy Charizard. I'm gonna do that a second time here. Done, back out. And then here you go a third time. And there you go. Now I'll come back into the Charizard. I can see most of the hearts are gone. I can still walk with this buddy, visit a new Pokestop and follow a route together. I can't do that because I'm here at home. But if I was doing the simple one buddy method, I would just get as many hearts as I can on one buddy a day and try to get it excited for free or use a Poffin. Yeah, that method's pretty simple. Most people can follow that. So if you want to do that, go with it. But some people want a best buddy more than one Pokemon at once. Specifically, you can actually switch your buddy 20 times a day, allowing you to work on 21 total best buddies every single day. What you can do here is you can come to your buddy, scroll to the bottom, swap buddies. It'll tell you how many more times you can swap. And I can go ahead and swap into any other of these buddies I wanna work on. For example, my Galarian Zapdos here. Hello, Mr. Galarian Zapdos. Hi there. And this brings us to our second method, which is gonna be the multiple buddy method. Now, obviously that first strategy I talked about with the Charizard doesn't take you long to get all your hearts on a single Charizard. So the multi buddy method allows you to excite or use Poffins on multiple buddies and try to get through as many as you can during the day. For example, I got all the hearts on the Charizard that I wanted. Now I'm switching into my Zapdos. I'm gonna do the exact same thing. I will either get it completely excited for free or I'll just come in here and give it the Poffin. So yeah, here we go. I got the hearts on the Zapdos. I'll go ahead and snapshot it. I'll go ahead and play with him. And then now I would get the battle hearts walk, get as many hearts as I can and do that with as many buddies as you can fit in your day. Obviously you're not gonna be able to do all 21 buddies with this method because it does take some time to get the walking hearts and all that stuff, but try to do as many buddies as you can. But let's say you wanna take it extreme and you wanna get every single buddy get some hearts on it. And that's gonna introduce something I like to call background buddies. Now, background buddies are gonna be buddies that you're not necessarily best buddying and it getting excited every single day and working really hard on them, but more so they're in the background. You're slowly getting a couple hearts with them every single day so that at least they're started up. For example here, let's say that Charizard and that Galarian Zapdos are my made buddies. I got all the hearts I want on this. Now I'm gonna go ahead and swap into my background buddies. You can obviously make a tag for these background buddies, but I'm just gonna use, let's say some other buddy I'm working on. For example, my Shundo Lechonk. In the background buddy strategy, at the end of the day, what I'm gonna do is once I've done buddying all my main buddies, I'm gonna come into the Shundo Lechonk or whatever Whatever my background buddy is. I'm gonna come in here, I'm gonna play with it. I'll, you know, it brought me a gift, so obviously I'll open that gift. Thank you for the tropical flower. I'm gonna go ahead and give it berries. A golden raspberry will do all the berries at once, but you can also give it three regular berries. I'm gonna take a snapshot of it. I'm gonna go ahead and play with him, and then that's it. You see, I got four hearts on this buddy, and you might be like, that's not a lot, but that's the whole point of background buddies. It only took me two minutes max. And now I can go ahead and hop into another background buddy. And this allows you to do multiple buddies in the background slowly that only takes you 30 minutes a night. And then once you're done buddying your main buddies, those background buddies can become your main buddies and you already have a head start. For example, now I'm in my second background buddy. I would do the exact same thing there. Very simple. That is the main buddy strategy a lot of people use where they have the main buddies they're working on, whether they're getting excited, using a puff and all that stuff, taking a lot of time to make sure you get all those hearts. And then at night, they take 30 minutes to get a couple hearts on some other Pokemon just to get them started. But what you can do if you have unlimited money, and this is a strategy I do when I'm trying to buddy as many Pokemon at once as I can, call it the Master Buddy Method. I actually just came up with that name, but it's a pretty good name. The Master Buddy Method is gonna have you best buddying 20 to 21 Pokemon at once, or as many as you want, and it's gonna be expensive. Specifically, what you're gonna do is you're gonna come into your buddy here. For example, let's say this is my first buddy of the Master Buddy Method. I'm gonna come into this, 
uh, Zubat here. I'm gonna use a Poffin. So you're gonna need 21 Poffins a day, which is gonna be 2,100 Pokecoins. It's gonna be expensive. Or you can obviously get those Poffins from AR mapping tasks. But unfortunately, you can't really get your buddy excited doing this method because it's gonna take you a super amount of time. I'm gonna take a snapshot of him. I'm going to go ahead and play with the Zubat. I'm also gonna go ahead, come to the battle menu. I'm gonna get all my battle hearts with the Zubat. That's one. That's two and that's three. And then from there, I'm gonna swap my buddies and do that exact thing 20 more times with the other 20 Pokemon I have in my best buddy tag. This allows you to get 16 hearts on your buddy every single day since the walking hearts, the visit a new stop and the follow route together hearts aren't really easy to get done very simply. But what I can do is just sit down for maybe an hour every single day, get through all 20 buddies in that method. It takes about maybe three, four minutes a single buddy and best buddy 21 Pokemon at once. This is by far the fastest way to get best buddies, but also the most expensive and probably the most time consuming because you do have to set aside an hour a day to sit through your 21 best buddies, puff in every single one of them, do all three battles with every single one of them. It can add up but that is the most hardcore method. And if you want to best buddy the most amount of Pokemon fast, that's the way to go. It'll actually take you only 18 days to get all 21 best buddies if you get your 16 hearts a day using that method. So yeah, overall, that's the fastest ways to get best buddy. Let me know what strategy you're going to be following because there is the four methods and you don't have to go as hardcore as you want. You could just be chill working on one best buddy a month. You could just have, you know, two, three main buddies and a couple background buddies. You could also just only do background buddies and, you know, get three to four hearts on on, you know, 15 buddies every single day and just do a much slower approach. But I hope this video did teach you stuff. I hope it taught you specifically how to get your buddy excited for free because that is a very useful strategy. And if you guys wanna know what Pokemon you should be best budding and what Pokemon you should look into best budding, uh, check out my video below because I actually do have a video breaking down the best Pokemon to best buddy in Pokemon Go. We'll see you guys in the next one though. Follow from this buddy, peace.